Hey guys, it's me, it's the Johnny Nomad. Welcome to Back to the Arcade, where we do big things here. The coolest sounds. Everybody's listening. So, the horizon pulse. we're just jumping into the stream. I don't care. Fuck that 10 minute wait time shit. 400 yards. Turn left. Let's see what we got here, people. Um, I'm also just learning how to play. So my fingers, I, mean, I got, I got man hands, so I'm not that sensitive. I gotta have more of a touch to my fingertips. But we're learning. I'm not gonna go too fast. I'm gonna follow this little line. It may take us a little while, but. so much man, you know what I'm saying? I grew up on, on wrenching on cars when I was a kid and shit in Brooklyn. My brother taught me a lot. Um, I would be at the car races at like 10, 11, 12 years old and shit. Like, me and my brother were like, my best friends. He was not with me, he was crazy.
show, brother. That is for sure. We're going to take control of yourself. Calm it down. Dirt Road, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. This feels way better than fucking dirt. Fucking this car up. Yo. I'm just gaming in the middle of the fight. I'm off today. You know what I'm saying? What's up? Yo, I'm off today. I haven't got no sleep. I was working all night last night. And I'm just enjoying this fucking game. It's quiet in the house and shit. I'm just here fucking shit up. This is so fucking dope. I just gotta figure out how to fucking um, change the fucking cars and shit. How do I sound, chat? Do I sound decent? This makes me feel good about driving again, because... Take long drives back in the day. When the Atlanta was less populated. You know what I'm saying? So, like, you know, I still love taking long drives and just doing shit like this, and now it's too fucking populated. It's stuck in fucking traffic all day long. But this kind of puts me in the mood, man. I'm kind of vibing. What I might do is, like, I might turn this fucking volume off in the future and buy about some own playlist like I did back in the day. And put you guys on to some some shit. Alright, let's see what we got here. Okay, cool. Um let's keep on riding. Fuck these flowers up. Yeah, I think I'm gonna ask some um, checkpoint for his uh, his steering wheel, and um, if he he uh, lets it to me, I'm gonna fucking do that. I'm gonna turn up this background music off. I'm gonna create a playlist first, and then we're gonna vibe out that playlist. And um, ooh. I'm in love with this game right now. This game is so dope. This is a fucking perfect car for this fucking... God damn, that's a fucking tree. <laughs> I love how the water just it's on the fucking camera screen. Man. That's also good. Ooh, rock! Ooh, ooh, that shit fucked me 
Ah, no, that's how you fucking do it. Gotta push away out that shit. I'm trying to figure something out. Let's just explore. I guess that's not it. Oh, okay. That's something. Um, how do we go to get our car? Oh, yeah. The freaking um, server for Horizon 5 is fucking um, down, they said. They gave me some other version to play. Let's see here. Hot Wheels map. Oh, your car. It's a car's pause. Shop, here we go. Alright, then change cars. I got 35 fucking cars. I'm not gonna try to fuck that happen. But I'm gonna take a nice car out tonight. Nice evening. We're gonna go pick up our lady friend. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. What car should we pick her up in? Uh, I don't want nothing too retro. Nothing too... One of, really. But something... Nice. Understated. But yet... Something that's gonna be fucking fun to drive. I know, I got some good joints, right? I, 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 really, I, like, I like that shit. The Viper ACR is probably the scariest car to me that has ever fucking been made. Um, I got the Corvette Stingray too. I think the Corvette would be fun to drive tonight. Let's do the Corvette. This one's all-wheel drive. Let's try the all-wheel drive one. Let's do the blue. Oh, yeah. This is not even my favorite Corvette, either. The C7. I love that design a lot, actually. And not that I, don't, I, don't, that I hate the C8. I think the C8's nice. I don't find it to be like, the most prettiest version of the Corvette. The body lines to me look kind of awkward to me. Um, it's a great car though. Functionality, when I still buy it, if it's all black, I think black would just cover those harsh lines and stuff like that. So. Yeah, food delivered to me. Come on. See, that's what I'm saying, like, certain angles doesn't look too bad. Perfect car for tonight, look at that. We're gonna ride. See my license plate? Nomad 13. Get to know that license plate. 
I think I might get that for real, for real. There's nothing like a night drive, man. You never driven that night, like, but go down roads that you know. That way, you know, you won't be surprised by the twists and turns. But there's nothing like a night drive, man. Especially like on the highway, and you're kind of passing through the cityscape with the fucking city and its bright lights. It doesn't like it, man. Or a nice like Sunday, early morning or Sunday afternoon, you go to back roads like this and you fucking just go straight until you can, ah, until you can't go straight no more. Look at that view. Shit. American muscle right here, people. Yeah, man, the sunset is amazing, man. Like, did you hear about the second moon is coming? We're going to have two moons for about two months. There's an asteroid that's actually going to lock into our orbit. It's gonna, and we're going to have, uh, you're going to be able to see another body next to the fucking moon, which is insane. And the uh, thing that's happening, I said, this month and up until December. And then the... Uh, Asteroid would no move from the orbit and go on. I gotta tell you, my lifetime, I've seen so much shit. You know, it's insane between technology, shit happening in space. Yeah, it's a great time to fucking be alive, to be honest with you. You know, I got to witness the first, you know, console systems from. I had ColecoVision, I had Atari. And the graphics are so horrible. But then you see stuff like this and the concepts and the execution is just amazing. The gameplay is so involved and Cause back in there was just about points. You know what I'm saying? But the highest score. So all the games were about scores. And then you play in the arcade because you want to beat that score and leave your name um, on the arcade machine. And you have the highest score. You're number one and people get to know you know your name. You know what I'm saying? So it wasn't about levels, it wasn't about being, you know, delved in into a storyline. But now that I'm older, I gotta say I really haven't played in about a decade. You know what I'm saying? And um I lost track of a lot of stuff. I haven't kept myself abreast of what's going on. I obviously look at my skill set, just dwindled down. Down, I gotta build it back up. My my my, my finger, my fingers are not the action stars it used to be. But I gotta get my sensitivity back. I think this game does it well. This game, I think, if you're getting back into gaming or learning how to game, I think this game is a perfect game to try because you really have to learn how to maneuver these triggers with a sensitive touch. And um, It's going to be a fun journey, no doubt. Like, this is going to be fire for me to get back and you, you guys are going to see me, you know, become a white belt again in gaming. And I'm going to come, become a master real quick. You see, I'm going to keep on being consistent, keep on playing, having fun. And I think that's the biggest thing is just having fun. No expectations. You know what I'm saying? They got to look away to go, look at chat. I'm ready to go off the fucking road. Let's see. Yes, and the thumbstick movement is sensitive in this game. It is. And you know what? I'm appreciating it, though. Because, again, I got to get that sensitivity back to my fingers. And not be so, you know, super, like, overpowering with my movements. Knowing how to maneuver. Like, kind of recovered there. Then has to go so far left. Um, letting off my throttle or, and braking. You know, course correcting like that. Getting used to stuff, so... It's, it's gonna take time. I'm okay with it though. You guys join me in that shit and we have a blast. Yeah, I think I'm gonna, make, I'm gonna create a playlist on Spotify. And uh, next time I play this game, uh, we're, we're gonna play the playlist in the background. And we're gonna have some fucking real fucking music. I won't be able to probably post that video on YouTube, which is fine, I don't give a fuck. 
Um, but we can have a blast live. You know what I'm saying? They, they do. I can see that. Like, the, the cars do drive how they do, you know, real life. And this goes to show you, though, too, right? Like, I, what I want to do, uh, the richest, I, I really want to take a, a proper race driving co like class course. Like, I really want to learn how to drive stick properly again. But I also really want to drive to learn about more maneuvering and having fun, you know what I'm saying? Um, not so much street driving, because I'm, a, I'm a, a more than above average street driver. Super aware, I, you know, I know how to maneuver around shit, but more like for track shit, you know what I'm saying? And also learn how to handle a car better than I know how to handle a car now. Like really take it next level. I would love to do that that Porsche uh, racetrack that we have here from Porsche. Um, yeah, fuck. I did see. This joystick is mad sensitive. Like it's mad sensitive. So I'm gonna slow down. So I'm too much powering through it. Come on. There we go. Of course, correct a little bit. There we go, man. A little too too much. And, and I'll get better. It's just a matter of my speed of movement too is a little lacking. So I gotta be a little quicker to respond as well. Let's get back on this fucking road. American muscle, bitch. This car is amazing. Uh, yeah, you know. That's why right now I'm just kind of like not doing a, a, uh, I guess a task, whatever you guys call it. I'm just kind of just dicking around and just driving, getting familiar with the, joy, the joystick and letting my hands and my fingers get used to really holding this shit again. Pause. And, uh. Sometimes I just, want, I just want to be a fucking menace. Alright. Let's see what else we got. Yo, I am super fucking tired, chat. I haven't slept at all yet. I'm exhausted. Playing my eyes are crossing on me. Whew. 
I know this was kind of a short stream, but um, uh, I think I need to go to bed <laughs> because I'm just I have a contact in for a long time. Um, I'm gonna come back tonight though. The kids will probably be on with me, um, and uh, we'll have like a family night tonight. I'm making tacos tonight, so uh, uh, soon enough I'm gonna go ahead and. Uh, I also take you guys in the kitchen with me. But um I know this 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 live was short and sweet. Um but we're gonna again kick it tonight. Don't forget tomorrow night, Wednesday, is poetry night. Okay, so don't forget. We'll read a, another page out of my first poetry book in my life. And then once we're done with this, we're gonna go to the second book, My Crazy Thoughts, and then we're gonna do an exclusive poetry reading. I want to uh, read to you guys several new poems from the new drop, the new book, Therapy, um, on here. And you're going to listen to the new fucking book I got dropping. And um, that's going to be dropping on October 31st. That you heard it here officially. Wepa, that's right. Puerto Rican author, Puerto Rican writer right here in the house. And... Um, I'll, I'll post the links and everything in the chat. You guys could purchase your copies um, and, and support a motherfucker. And um, the, the talent that my family has, not to be, you know, not to be, but we're just fucking amazing. You know what I'm saying? So we have a lot of fucking talent. And um, we kind of want you guys to join us in our journey through our own talent. And our own discovery of our talent and the use of it. So uh, tonight's vid is going to be a little bit different. It says some gaming. We're going to be talking about a lot of good stuff. Maybe do a couple reactions tonight. So this is kind of just like a midday reminder. Like, yo, back to your arcade is here. I haven't gone nowhere. It, I had some fucking old man issues with my OBS. But good thing we got, you know, internal tech as a team we, we got here with Checkpoint. I had a great conversation with my boys last night. I think that was the first conversation we had with both of them at the same time like that. Where it was just some on some true man shit. And uh, more of those conversations are going to come. You know what I'm saying? And that's going to be private shit. That's not going to be on here. But more private conversations between me and my boys. On, on the next level of some man shit. Um, and the expectations I have for them. To carry on this family, uh, it's 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 huge, it's huge. But join us, all of us, the richest checkpoint, and there's others to come. Even lovely, my wife, she she's gonna be doing a YouTube thing with a book channel, and I might have her on. So you guys get to know her a little bit, and. Um, yeah, we, we're tearing shit up. Like, this is the year that we really put our foot down, ten toes down, into this uh, social media, into this live shit. And you're going you're gonna to meet the baddest family that's live. Garrett fucking T, that's us. That's going to be the innocent family. That's our name, St. Innocents, baby. San Inocencio. Wepa. So you're going to get to know us, we're going to get to know you, and we're going to have a blast this coming year. Let's fucking do it. I'm out. Chat. You've been fucking amazing. Like always. Let's run this shit. Live streaming. Hasn't seen nothing yet. Can't fucking see you watch and see. Peace.